So a few days ago, I was talking about some of the shit that scared me as a kid, and uh, this happened. I was only in second grade, too, but I went to school like, oh, shit. Oh, shit, is this the point in time? I started having a little bit of a stomachache. Am I about to fucking internally combust? Am I just going to explode into a fiery ball of shit? A lot of people think I'm joking about that, like it was a part of some skit. No, I was actually scared of that shit when I was younger. I watched a documentary when I was in, like, first or second grade about internal combustion, and I went to school the next day, I drank some coke, my stomach started feeling like it was going to explode. That might be a little bit of an over-exaggeration, but I, I was feeling a little bit bloated, and I was like, is this the end? Am I going to fucking blow the fuck up? And apparently people don't believe me. I mean, at the time, the only question I had was if it was going to be just instantly, like I'm sitting there doing my math and I just fucking explode, or... If it would be like Goku from fucking Dragon Ball Z, am I going to just start going, uh, 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 and I just blow the fuck up? Is like, which one would be worse? I don't know, man. But yeah, I'm going to be talking about some of the shit that scared me as a kid, because why not? Fucking YOLO. Now, a lot of people are scared of, like, the generic, like, Captain Hook and, like, the, the bad guys from, like, the scary movies or whatever. But I was scared of some weird shit, dude. I was scared from Woody from Toy Story. I just imagined, like, a life-size version of him just being terrifying. Like, completely, utterly terrifying. Like, a plastic face, like, and everything. And him, like, coming up to you saying, like, let's go please Andy. Like, that would be scary as fuck. That would still be scary to me, shit. I mean, to be honest, the Woody thing is kind of like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle thing. Like... The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you watch them and you're like, oh, they're so cool. But if you actually imagine how fucking terrifying it would be to meet, like, a life-size rat, that would be fucking insane. Like, take example your dog, dude. Could you imagine, like, a life-size, like, human version of your dog? Like, Fox McCloud in real fucking life. That would be literally terrifying. That's, like, therapy for fucking 50 years. Holy shit. And then him talking to you as well. Like, a, your just dog is standing to you, same height, and he's just like, Hello, Calvin. Like, holy shit, dude. That, that would be terrifying as fuck. Even, like, an anime character would be an abomination in 3D. Like, have you seen those big anime heads? Like, they're legit, dude, and they're scary as fuck. And even cartoon-wise, like, there's a lot of creepy shit that gets passed on Cartoon Network now. Like, Courage the Cowardly Dog? How did any of those episodes get passed on Cartoon Network? Holy shit. One of them, the grandma just gets her fucking head chopped off, and the episode ends. Like, she- okay. Okay, she's fucking dead, that's it. That's fucking it. There's no ending. We don't- you don't refine her head. Her head- she's just fucking decapitated. And that's it. It's over. You know, the more I think about this, the more I realize that this isn't shit that's scary as a kid. This shit is just scary all fucking around. Like, I don't care who the fuck you are. A life-size Woody trying to fucking get you to please Andy is fucking terrifying, okay? I mean, this kind of just shows how fucked up my mind really is with all this bullshit, dude. Like, a life-size Woody getting you to please Andy. Where the fuck does anyone come up with that shit? Or a human-sized rat trying to fucking kill you with a stick. Holy shit, dude. Well, I'm gonna cut this short. I hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, be sure to leave a like or I'll get fucked. Woody on you. Just kidding. Peace, peace.